really, really hard to find a corner to yourself. <sighs> what you doing with those? Pop's sake. Oh, these are actually for a little project. Could we not have any random big noises in the house, please, while this show is going on? Thank you. Play. Son is working on, but don't tell him I told you. It's a surprise. Oh, it's the vanity. You homeschool, don't you, Claire? I do. I think I understand that. I didn't used to. But if I think too long about the world out there... My little one is better with me. I know it. I know it well. It's in there that they're in... You don't let anyone tell you what you're feeling is wrong. Especially someone who didn't carry those souls in their core. Feel them going. Stand firm between the world out there and these little souls. Because the world out there has teeth. And it is hungry and it is stupid and it eats and eats mindlessly. It doesn't care that they're innocent. How much longer are you staying here? We were hoping to be out by the end of August, so better if it's sooner. And for you, maybe even sooner than that. Why would you say that? Because the house is getting to you. I've worked here a long time, and all I can tell you is that it's just as stupid and hungry as anything else. We don't stay after dark, Horace and I. And my child is not allowed to step foot on this place. Not once. I mean, this is beautiful. You did this by yourself. God, we'll find out what she saw now. Mom? <gasps> Mommy? <gasps> oh my God, it was, it was Luca now. <gasps> oh my God. I think I do need help. I'm not me right now. I, I can't seem to find me. You're stressed. No. You... I'm not. I was when we got here. I was all the things. All the familiar things. But all those colors... They've gone. They're all gone now, Hugh. And there's only one left. That's all I am. There's nothing else. You guys be good. And take care of your poor handsome dad for me, okay? I don't understand. She's gone. Okay, Luke, listen. Why do they keep showing us the rat killer? How's, how's Janet? She's fine. Well, tell her I said hi. I'm gonna stay up so late. Hugh says hi. Guys, guys. She's not a Janet. Isn't that the motel? Ugh, shit. So this is the last night. Fuck. I'm not ready. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. The rat poison. No, 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 no. It's the tea party, innit? Fuck. She was going to kill the kids. Oh, surely go back to bed. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, this is awful. Who? Oh. Shirley. What are you doing here? She doesn't look right. Are you dreaming too? She did put the rat poison in the tea, didn't she? Fuck. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Who are... Oh, you're Abigail. See, I told you.
told you she was real? We were actually about to have a surprise tea party. Tea party? Oh, I know. You've been so patient. Okay, be very quiet, little kittens, and follow me, okay? Oh, Abigail, would you like to join us? Oh my god. It's open. You found the key. You want to know the secret? We are the key. <sighs> Abigail, how do you take your tea? I don't know. Abigail is not allowed to leave her house very much. Call the fucking mold! You can't tell my mom, though. She worries about everything. You're perfectly safe. That's what this is all about, actually. Making sure everyone's safe. Oh my god. I'd be absolutely fucking terrified. Your cup of stars. And when you drink it, you hold your pinky up. Like this. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, fuck. Mine? What's no. wrong? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just so happy. Too many? Fuck! Oh my god. That really bad dream? Of course I'd wake you. I'm waking us all up. What dream? <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. She's having a nightmare. She's gonna wake up. What's wrong? Abigail! Just a moment and then there'll be no more pain. She's safe. Drink your tea. God. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is the most fucking horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Don't tell me the Abigail's actually like the Sadly's kid or something. <laughs> oh shit. She's not even done. It's Abigail in the window. She's okay. Are you, dear? I need to wake up. Eyes closed. Fuck. No. She was limping after them. That wasn't a ghost. She was in the window. He's killing them. He's driving them into the dark. He's killing them. He's killing all of them. He's driving them toward a silver table. He's driving them Stop. toward a needle. He's driving them Stop toward it. disease and heartbreak Stop and it. sadness and death. And those teeth, those teeth that'll tear and chew and eat them alive a piece at a time. Shut up! Fuck. I knew it. She's all on her own.
Are you awake now? Killing them. He's killing all of them. Fuck you, Poppy. It's okay, sugar. I want to wake up. So badly. Why can't I wake up? This is it. Oh, it's, mm, it's gonna be a long summer. Well, haven't you always wanted it in the summer? Did you see this? Are you coming? It's all you. Oh, gee, thanks. Dad, they are taking the green room. I want the green room. I'm on my way. I'll show you. This is insane. Are you sure? You guys go on without me. How could we? Oh, that episode. Okay. So, firstly, this is the episode, isn't it, really, that we've all wanted that tells us from Olivia Liv's point of view what happened to her? So the house has been driving her mad, basically. So I'm thinking Poppy did kill the kids. And she, like, infected... Uh, this might all be wrong by episode 10. I'm just going with what, what I've interpreted from what I've seen. So she's basically following Liv around, giving her these visions of... of Luca now as devastated adults, traumatised, dysfunctional adults that ultimately die because, from their trauma. But it's lying, because actually the only reason that they are that way is because of what the house makes the mum, makes Olivia do. So it's like she's showing them these awful, dystopic, fucking horrific futures. That scene with baby Luke and baby Nell describing what we've seen their lives turn into was fucking devastating. That was so sad. L literally got a lump in my throat. Oh my God. But all the time, what, what she's actually showing is their future, if Olivia does what she's gonna do. Because if Olivia would have just left, None of this trauma would have happened. Well, not nearly as much of the trauma would have happened. I think. I'm really worried that Abigail is the Dudley's daughter now. I'm really worried. I mean, she walked off with that woman in the end, so I don't know what that was about. Something's off. Why would she die? It's got to be a real girl that died. Because she died and she was dead on the floor and she was alive. In the little truck. Oh. And we've just heard Mrs Dudley talk about her daughter. Same age as the twins. Won't let her on the property. 
I'm really worried. And that would explain why no one would have recognised her or believed because no one's met the child. Fuck. I really hope that's not true. Oh, my sweet summer child. Oh, my God. And I feel like we've had several episodes of this show now where these loose, like you're seeing one angle and it looks like one thing and you see another angle, it looks like another. Like, just a small point, but that exchange between Stephen and, and Olivia at the vanity, when Stephen's like, Dad said... And when we saw it from Stephen's memory last one, he said, Dad said, and she looked like she was about to lose it when she was like, what did he say? It was really, like, I was nervous watching that moment. And then again, we see it from her perspective here, and I swear they've recut that. And it, and she was given just a slightly nuanced performance of that line where she was just like, what did he say? There was no, there was nothing terrifying about it. And the, the actress kind of, I forgot her surname, Gugini, Gugino, whatever it is. Like, she is so good at being able to put the crazy behind her eyes and then turn it off. It, oh my God. And we saw in the vanity that it was Luca now. But I'm jumping because I've been distracted at the end. But the point of what I'm trying to get to is they're haunting each other. I know I paused it and said it, but can I say it again? So Nell is being haunted by her future self. That drives her crazy. She's being haunted by her future. And Olivia is being haunted by the future of Nell and Luke. And we still haven't found out what's happened to Luke. Twice we've seen him. Nell saw him on the on her ceiling in the motel, and Olivia saw him twice. The first time being on the floor of it, Shirley's morgue. How is she in Shirley? This is scaring the shit out of me. So all of these things together basically means she even though she says she's going to janet's something happens because she doesn't get on a plane she doesn't she's in that mode look like the same motel that they were at afterwards she goes back to the house and i said before i was like why do they keep showing this to the rat poison it's like three episodes they've done a close-up on that rat poison and stressed about how bad these chemicals are I can't believe I didn't before this episode, to be honest. Go, why do they keep... But the... finally, it was so much I had to say something today. And then she does. She comes back. This fucking tea party. And I said, denied. There's, there's some significance about the tea party. And it's... She's going to kill them. Because what she's convinced of is that actually all of those bad things are like a nightmare. And there's this way that if you do this, if you kill them, basically then they can stay that age forever we'll all be together in the house and no one will ever be able to harm them but then all hell breaks loose because Shirley finds her in the kitchen she wakes up Hugh Hugh goes and like smashes the TV up but not before Abigail has had the tea and his debt she's already gone basically she's like <coughs> and he does push her against the wall i think other people would have done worse to be honest if they'd have seen someone poisoning children but i think he gets that this is not like it's not her that's the point it's, she's not herself and he goes tearing through the house because he's now got to get all the kids at the house and now we realise what he was running from. He was running from her. And the hills. Because when he's running through the house, all of a sudden, there's hills at one end. Willie's coming up the stairs at the other side. So he's like, get in the room. So we've seen that bit where they're in the room. What we now know is the person turning the knob is the mum. And it's not a ghost of the mum. It's actually Olivia with Poppy whispering poison in her ear. 
But then Hazel rocks up and she's like, she's a liar. So I think Hazel might be a goodie. The Good Hills? Did Poppy kill Hate? Like, what's going on? So we've seen everyone go out the house. Luke sees Abigail in the window. Stephen sees his mother, but he hadn't seen a ghost. He had actually seen his mother. Because he didn't see the ghost, because he didn't see the ghost behind his mother saying, he's going to kill them all, he's going to kill them. You know, that was horrible. That was fucking horrible. And then, basically, just like we've already seen this in the future with Nell and Olivia, but now this is happening with with Olivia and Poppy. And she's like, you got to wake up. And off she goes, and another awful sound effect. She's dead on the floor. And then we go to what could either be a flashback to them arriving at Hill House originally, or she's succeeded in waking everybody up, which is my fear that she is good. Her and the house are going to kill them all. And he says to her, you always wanted an endless summer. Is that what's going to fucking happen? Like, are we supposed to think it's a flashback? But it's not a flashback. It's actually... Oh, my God. That episode, though. That episode. And now cutting the stuff out of her mouth so that she could... That was truly horrific, but incredible, incredible show. Oh my God, I hope you're enjoying this reaction as much as I'm enjoying making them. I really do, because I'm having a fantastic time. And as I always say, even though it doesn't look like it, because <laughs> I spent most of my time either crying or screaming. But no, what a ride. I can't, and now we've only got one left. So, oh, and yes, and you should all know by now, but I'm from episode four, um, because that for me was what it really took off. So from episode four, um, the full length picture in picture reactions are available on my Patreon. Um, go and become a patron. You can see what you need to pay on the site to have access to those. You'll have access to all of them. So four right through. Um, and obviously we'll be doing the full length finale as well. So if you're not a patron already, do consider it if you really love this show and the 10, 20 minute reaction is not enough for you. Four reactions from episode four right through to the finish. Um, and yeah, and also you can vote in the poll to decide which show do I replace um, The Haunting of Hill House with once we're done. Um, I was thinking American Horror Story, but I'm also open to suggestions. I'd like to keep it in roughly the same genre because I'm doing Fargo at the moment. So Fargo is like the light. I know that's what we cast as light around here at Script Tonight Reacts. So Fargo is, is like the light thing. And I also want like a darker, scary, sci-fi, you know, whatever kind of a program. So if you become a patron, you can go and vote and you can tell me what your thoughts are. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of good reasons to become a Patreon. I really hope you do. It'd be great to have your support. And until the next time, bye-bye.